Acting Gauteng Health MEC Jacob Mamabolo has met unions and managers at healthcare facilities in the province. They raised concerns about the state of protective gear provided to health workers. Mamabolo took over the reins from Bandila Masugu, who is on special leave following allegations of a PPE tender fraud. Let's speak now to the MEC Mamabolo to find out how he plans to deal with these concerns. MEC, good morning to you. In the main, the uh, allegation from the unions is that the health workers who are not in COVID-19 wards are being given substandard PPE and that is exposing them to COVID-19 because some people who are not in these wards, uh, COVID-19 wards, may actually be infected. What have you found? Well, firstly, good morning to you, to all the viewers, and thanks very much for the opportunity. Yes, let me confirm that... Um, uh, or since Friday till yesterday afternoon, I've been visiting uh, health facilities and uh, three warehouses where PPE is stored. And um, to that extent, yes, there is a challenge with PPE uh, mm -hmm. relating to quality, as you said, and that has a direct bearing on the rate of infection. So I did see, uh, right, at the particularly two main facilities in Centurion and in, in Rodepur, that you have uh, multiple uh, a number of um, uh, say chemicals, and that you will talk to are they of the right qualities. Just the sanitizers themselves, mm -hmm. different products, what has been the level of quality assurance. So that issue is what we're going to attend to. Then there's textile uh, material, clothing yeah. type of PPE. That, time that of also, the... some of it here very easily. And again, some of it is not waterproof. So, so there are challenges in that regard. And workers do have genuine cases. But uh, these are matters that um, we will definitely attend to in the sense that the quality assurance issues relating to PPE are high, high on the agenda. The second one is time within which PPE is readily available. Yeah. Uh, that also is a, it's a clear concern that we will make sure the logistics, including transport, frequency of delivery, that's one matter that we are looking at. Enough that is in quantities. Let, so me, see, quality, let, me, quantity let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question, MEC. You're saying that you found that these PPEs that are stored in the facilities you've visited, they are of substandard quality. Where are they procured? Where were they bought? Well, uh, that's precisely the... Some of... Uh, okay, there are those that are good. It shouldn't be everything. But, uh, but these were procured, uh, obviously, through the processes of the department. And as we know, those have now become a subject of investigations. And those are matters that are receiving attention. But um, clear case, yes, there are cases of uh, substandard, uh, poor quality material. And we're looking into that. Then, MEC, there are the allegations of irregular tenders around PPE that are being issued. For example, today, the front page of the Star newspaper talks about a company, and I'm going to give you the name of this company. It's called... Uh, Zabelo Trading, and it received a contract in June, that was just two months ago, to build tents and partitions for COVID-19 uh, screening, particularly at the Far East Rand Hospital. What this company then did, after giving the department a particular price tag, after the award, they inflated that amount by 190%, and yet the contract was not cancelled. Have you heard about this? Yes, that's the, yes, uh, I mean, and the, the article you are referring, referring to is on the front page of the Star today, this morning. Yes. Uh, but let me say to you and to the viewers that uh, just last week, Thursday, uh, Premier David Makura gave a very comprehensive and detailed approach on how we are going to deal holistically with everything relating to supply chain and logistics. No, MEC, of, MEC, of, I know, we, know, yeah. we know what the media has said, and I'm really sorry to, to push you here, but time is against us. I just need to know whether this contract indeed is still in force. This company in question, Zabelo Trading, actually does have this contract that still exists with that particular hospital. 
Well, as I'm saying to you, and this is very much important, is that we can't isolate and single out one item from the rest. There's but let me say you're aware of this way. contract. You are aware of this specific contract. I just want I, to know I, from I, you. I went to that hospital. It's one of those that I visited. Yes. And all these issues have been dealt with through one process. I went into the tent myself. Mm -hmm. I know about it. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to you, these matters are exactly part of what we are dealing with through the SIU. So I don't think at this point it will be useful to go into each one of them all without right. fair, fair. talking to all of them through one Fair enough. Process. Fair enough, we MEC. We are aware of it. We are attending to it. Fair enough, MEC. But at least in the interim, has the contract been cancelled because this is fraudulent behaviour from this company? Yes. So I'm saying to you that these matters have been referred to the SIU and these matters are receiving attention right there. And we will make a comprehensive announcement on all of them, how we are dealing with each one. So you're not willing to respond directly about whether or not this company still has this contract in force with the department? No, no, I am uh, directly. And the point I'm making, Cody, is all the issues per each and every one of them will be attended to in the way that we have announced and I think it will not be correct to just sing it out and pick up one. There's a strategic way we are dealing with these matters, and premiers still talk to that. And I can assure you, allow us to deal with these issues. We'll make an announcement on each one of the transactions. All right. Final question, MEC, and very briefly, please. Um, there is a suggestion that um, teachers, the infection rates among teachers, is not really all that worse if you compare it to uh, communities, for example, what are you finding, particularly with more grades that are going to be uh, back at school from next week? Well, uh, the, uh, the, the, the way we are dealing with uh, the issues of infection rates amongst workers in health, in uh, education, across the public uh, system, it's uh, precisely the same principle of making sure that all of them are protected, obviously, we are worried about the numbers. Um, we are worried about every single person. Uh, every life is quite critical. So we do have, um, and this PPE that we're talking about, it's actually the direct function of rates of infection. And the way we're dealing with them is to ensure that every public servant is protected, including those in health. And as a department, we are supporting all departments to make sure that this quality PPE properly delivered to protect everyone, including those in uh, basic education.